morning and happy Friday, the end of another work week. And um, for many of you, wrapping up school in the next week or two, uh, pretty wild. Time marches on. Well, this brings us also to the end of our week of musically inspired devotions. Um, and this morning, um, I have chosen See the Love by The Brilliance. Uh, take a listen. Every day We go to war again We assume We know so much more than them Before we hear what they have to say Headline breaks And we start to hate again Calling them names again We give up peace away I hope they see it Cause I wanna see it I hope we believe it I wanna see I wanna see the love encapsulates all of last week's devotions on love. Uh, if I have to be honest, I was jamming to this tune 
all last week. Um, the song begins with these lines. Every day we go to war again. We assume we know so much more than them before we hear what they have to say. Headline breaks. We start to hate again, calling them names again. We give our peace away. It's reflection on this reactionary, graceless, really loveless culture um, that we so often find ourselves in, that we are tempted to join um, instead of a, a tendency of love, a tendency of hate and cynicism. Um, and, and really, uh, the song is going to continue to embark on the theme of loving our enemies, uh, loving our neighbors, loving all people. Um, but the songwriter in an interview actually mentioned that beginning of the song, they wanted to acknowledge um, subtly uh, some of the emotions and, and some of the tendencies that, that drive cynicism, and then to move on and write an anthem against cynicism, against negativity, against hate. And I, for one, need a song like this to acknowledge, here we go, wake up, check the headlines, ah, oh, those people, ah, and there's that tendency to go to war again with our fellow man. And, and there it is. And, uh, you know, assuming we already know more than people before we even hear them. And I love how it begins. It moves into that first chorus. I hope they see it, because I want to see it. I hope we believe it. I want to see the love all around you, all around you. I want to know, I want to know that love is all around you, is all around you. Seeing the love. Now, the artist mentions really two um, passages of scripture that really uh, fueled um, this, this song and, and this reaction. So the tendency of cynicism, the tendency of negativity, the tendency of hate, the tendency of just judging our neighbor, turning into, I hope you see the love. Well, first is seeing, is actually seeing people. He was very strong on this, and, and this is something that really should strike at the core of all of us. Do we actually see people as image bearers of God? Regardless if we disagree with them or agree with them, do we see them as a dignified human being simply because they were created by God? Right? And that's that first aspect of, of what fuels our love of neighbor, whoever they are. What fuels our love for neighbor is not them, but who they are, as in they are an image bearer of God. They are a handmade creature by the almighty God that I call Father. And if that is true, then first, do I see them? Do I humanize them? Or do I allow the cynicism and the negativity and my own disagreement with people dehumanize them. So that's the first aspect. Do they see the love? Do I see them? Do I believe it? Do I treat people with dignity? And the second aspect um, is reflection on Jesus's words uh, really in, in John 13. And that is, they will know you are my disciples by how you love one another. Do, does this culture see the love? Does this culture see and hear the love of God flowing from his people, flowing from me? I want to see the love. I hope you see the love all around you. That is the driving focus here. In a world of so much negativity, especially now, guys, I mean, there is so much uh, people dealing with anxiety and anger um, and wanting to blame everything on somebody. When they look at the church, when they look at me as a Christian, do people see the love? Do they hear the love? Do they feel seen? Do they feel valued? Before we get into maybe talking about our, our different lives and perspectives, do they first know that I see them? And secondly, do they know that however we react, it's going to be in, an, in a spirit of love, of patience, of kindness, of grace? I want to see that love. The song moves on. Day by day, hope fades away, and then we know that there is pain within. We cannot medicate. Learn to feel. Learn to begin again. Open our eyes again to see our brothers 
pain. Oh, so good. Now, some of you watching this might be quite young and, and maybe not knowing what, what does that mean? There's pain within we cannot medicate. But I think you get it, right? Like, human beings go through uh, pain in this life and sometimes people try to mask that pain in anything, whether it's a literal medicine, just like popping those pills to try to stop the headache, or we, we medicate by other things, right? By entertainment, by hobbies, by, by food, by whatever. We, we're trying to mask the pain. And sometimes we get blind to people's pain. We get blind to everyone's in a battle, in a struggle. And I love that idea. Learn to feel again. Learn to begin again. See our brother's pain, right? We have, as Christians, we have to see people struggle to know that people are dealing with real pain, to know that people are lost, right, if they do not have that peace with God. But also our own brothers and sisters in Christ are dealing with pain. We have to see it. We can't become jaded. We can't become that way. We have to see it. Um, the artist mentions that writing those lines, he actually was reflecting on the Good Samaritan, the parable of the Good Samaritan, and it, and it really struck him in his in his meditation on that is that the first application of that parable is that Jesus is that good Samaritan is that it was Jesus who loved us first he was the one who laid down his agenda his wealth wealth his riches um, he came to us when we were dead when we were hopeless we didn't deserve it and he loved us and he brought life to us. And then the Good Samaritans apply to me. Now I go and do likewise. Now I go and love people. But what does that love begin with? Seeing and then acting out of that love that Jesus has for me. And I love that, that we love others because we were first loved. And the song ends, right? I hope they see it because I want to see it and I hope we believe it. Um, and then and see how that love lights you up. The song is, is a beautiful anthem of, of just acting in love out of that love that first um, shown in our hearts through the sacrifice of Christ that we would see our fellow humans as human, image bearers of God with that built-in dignity that then they would see that love flowing from us, people that bear the name of Christ they would see that love, they would hear that love, that I would see people's pain and I would have compassion on them. Guys, again, in a world that's full of negative and hopelessness and people trying to medicate, we have hope. We have that comfort that comes from knowing that you belong to God. That is what people need. And so to end, I'm um, just gonna read uh, one, one passage that once again, the song, I, I, the artist um, wrote quite a bit about what inspired it. And at the end, 1 John, 1 John 4, 18 through 21. Uh, and so here we go. If I can turn these really thin pages. 1 John 4, 18 through 21. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he does not love his brother whom he has seen. How can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Let's love those that we see flowing out of that love from our Father who is in heaven. May that be encouraging to you today. Let us lo love and be loved. All right. Well, that brings us to Redeeming the Time Challenge number 34. Once again, it's Friday night. So this movie challenge is called Foreign Film. Now, this doesn't mean you have to go get a movie that's all in subtitles and was made in a foreign country, even though that could be really cool and there are some amazing foreign films that I could recommend. But, side note. What I'm challenging you is to watch a movie that the main plot does not happen in America, happens in a different country, and it can't be a fantasy land. No Middle Earth, even though that pains my heart, no Narnia, no 
Star Wars in a galaxy far, far away. No, I mean like an actual country. That's where it takes place. And even more, maybe the main characters are not American. This is like a film that is set in a different place. That's the challenge tonight. Pick a movie where the plot, the characters are from a different country. Get cultured. Boom. All right. Well, let's pray and let's, let's knock out this Friday and let us live in love. God, I love you. Uh, I just thank you so much for your word. I thank you for um, these songs that we have studied this week and, and just inspiring your people to, to continually write um, beautiful songs of worship and of, of meditation. And God, I do pray that we would see people how you see them, as people that need encouragement, also people that just need you, and that we would have love for our fellow humans. Um, God, I pray that that would flow out of um, us knowing that we are so loved by you, and thus we can freely, without fear, love other people. So God, we do love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, be well, do good work, and I'll stay in touch.